pain of Israel at the Temple of Solomon for the greatest blessing. Wake up, Hong Kong. The Spirit of God is with you. And He's not only with you. He longs to dwell within you perpetually. Imagine the Spirit of the Creator dwelling inside of you. You will have an abundance of plenitude of God. Now, in the month of December, we'll be having the campaign of Israel in the Temple of Solomon. And this program here is our journey to the Temple of Solomon in preparation. We're talking about the greatest rewards of God living inside of you, living inside of us. We are coming from this altar into your homes. And tonight, we continue this journey. We're speaking about the Temple of Solomon and what happened there was something amazing. When um, the temple there was opened, Solomon presented sacrifices to God. The glory of God came down and filled the temple. And that's what God wants to do with everybody that surrendered their life in His hands. For your life to be in the hands of God, you must find the altar. The altar is the meeting place between man and God. And you become a temple of the Holy Spirit. Now, let's read here the following Bible verse. In the book of Numbers, chapter 11, verse 23, Now you shall see whether my word will come true for you or not. You may be uh, familiar with the scriptures. You may or may not have been to a church, or maybe you grew up in Sunday school. And you may be doing things very well in your life, you try to do your very best to make the right choices and decisions. And maybe things are not going well for you. You do the right things, but in return, you get bad results. Things are not going for you, but things go against you. And you wonder in the midst of all of, all of that, where is God? What is happening? Why aren't my prayers answered? Well, in the campaign of Israel, you will be able to discover whether the Word of God is true or not true. You have to put the Word of God to the test. And that's what happened to Abraham. Abraham was a man frustrated, longing for a child, walking in the right way. But that child never came. His prayer for that child was not being answered. And as he was getting frustrated, time was passing. And he started wondering, the words that God spoke to me, are they true or not? That's the moment when God appeared to him and God challenged Abraham. And he called him to make a covenant with him. And that covenant made was the beginning of a total life transformation. Let's explore that today, today with uh, Pastor Diego. Abraham Bishop was living a life of expectation. He was waiting something. He was believing in something. And that's why he was frustrated in his life. And I know you are watching us in this moment. And that is an area of your life that you have the same expectation. You are waiting for something. You are, you are battling. You are doing your best. You are working hard. But you feel frustrated. Because in this area, particular area of your life, you have no success. We are here in this very day to show to you the solution for this matter. We know that Abraham found the solution on the altar. In that exact place, there was a covenant between Abraham and God. And there, he found the answer. You need to find the answer to your life. 
to solve this matter, to put an end in all frustrations in your life. And today, you will watch a story of Jesus. Jesus, one day, she was exactly like you are in this very moment. She was frustrated and she was devastated because of the situation in her life. But one day, she found the altar. Let's watch. Temple of Solomon. Hello, my name is Jesus Ablas. Before coming to the USKG Help Center, my life was totally devastated. At my young age, I experienced sexual harassment. And because of this, I suffered from depression. My family doesn't know anything about it. And I had a very bad attitude because of this uh, depression. I became rebellious to my parents, become the troublemaker, and even labeled as a black sheep of the family. Because I always, the reason of division and grudges, fighting in my family. Aside from this, I grew up as a lesbian. And what had happened to me, being as a lesbian, I also harassed women. And uh, this kind of life, I started to drink, to smoke, I even juice marijuana. Because of these personal issues in my life, I developed illnesses like insomnia, allergies, and thalassemia. I often have bleeding. I often have uh, constant pain that I couldn't, I couldn't bear. But I, I couldn't ask any help from anybody else. I am afraid to speak. I am afraid to seek help. Because of this, I decided to join a church that I thought they will help me to get rid of this kind of problem. I was then decided to get married through matching. And uh, I, started mar I started my marital life with him. And the hope that I want for the changes of my life became worse because my husband, I discovered that he is also addicted from alcohol and smoking. And while living with him, and I cannot attend his needs because of my personal problem. He always be beaten me and I experienced sexual abuse. I was then uh, became traumatized of what he is doing. I tried my best to escape many times, but every time that I escaped, I went to the church who, which matched me with that marriage. But then they always returned me to my husband. Until such time I was pregnant, I was rushed to the hospital always because of bleeding. And then I didn't give up. I told myself I must get out of that situation. Finally, I was succeeded running out from my husband. I went back in the Philippines. But I had a miscarriage. My son was passed away and because of this, my husband couldn't accept it. He committed suicide and my family and his family who doesn't know anything about my life, they blame me for, for their death. And my depression became worse. Because of this, I tried my best to seek for another way out. I planned to work abroad. My first attempt of going and working to abroad was uh, prostrated because the agency only uh, took my money and ran away. I end up living in a squatter area in the in Manila, and and um, because I do not have anything, I end up dating men, local and foreigners, just to have um, living. After that, there is again another. Uh, proposal to me to work abroad. I went to Middle East. There I had again a sexual harassment. I was emotionally abused. After that, after two years, I went back in the Philippines. But the harassment that I experienced during my childhood 
continued. So I decided to go abroad again. But from time to time, I had that abuse. Four times that I was terminated, I even uh, accused of molesting my word and fight and fought for the employers. I won twice. And then I don't have any hope anymore because I was this uh, diagnosed of multiple illness like thalassemia. Thalassemia is a w illnesses of blood that is an uncurable. And I spend more of this, my, my money, I cannot, I cannot save any money. And I do not have any investment at all. Aside from this, I was an emotional person. Every person who come to borrow my money, I give. Even my friends, my family, I give. I end up of nothing. And uh, because of this, I don't have any plans for my life. Aside from these personal issues, I have family problems. My family, they hated me. And uh, it became worse because instead of uh, helping me, they put me down that I almost killed one of my family member. Division problems of my family started. And then I do not have anything. I do not know how to get out of these problems. And then I decided to come here in Hong Kong. Someone uh, brought me to the UCKG Health Center. And that was the time that I, uh, I was bleeding through the faith that I have, I was uh, challenged and I was healed at that, uh, that time. I continued coming to UCKG Help Center. I focused on my uh, transformation first. I started to become a faithful tighter. I joined a chain of prayer campaigns. My first campaign was very difficult to me because the Holy Spirit uh, required me to give my one month salary. But that financial sacrifice is not the only thing that the Holy Spirit demands for, for me. He wants me to forget everything. He wants me to forgive those people that, uh, uh, that harass me. He, he wants me to ask forgiveness to anyone that I made mistake. And what I did after the campaign, when I gave my financial sacrifice, I decided to forgive my family. I decided to find all the people that I had grudges from the past, employers, friends, family members. After that, the Holy Spirit baptized me. That was the, the beginning of my transformation. Today, my life was transformed. I was free from depression. I don't have trauma anymore. I have a good relationship with my family. I have free from any illnesses. Even my eye problem, I already free. And today, I have uh, savings in the bank. I am financially stable because of the funds that I, I invested. But the most things, aside from my transformation, also the transformation of my family, is the love, the joy, and the peace inside of me because of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Campaign of Israel at the Temple of Solomon for the greatest blessing. Welcome back. You just witnessed the story of Jesus. Very powerful. You can see here that outside of the altar, she was a woman without direction, totally hopeless, walking in darkness. Her heart totally broken, no peace of mind. And there she needed to turn things around. And that happened on the altar because the altar is a place 
where you meet God, where man meets the creator. And when the creator comes, he can reset the life of the person. Let's comment on that together with Pastor Vincent. Yes, Bishop and dear viewers, and God never changes. Is it still the same from yesterday? He is still the same today. He will always be the same. And every person who comes to his presence, he will not reject that person. But what will cause the person to be connected with God is faith. Not religion, but the pure and genuine faith of Abraham. Once the person manifests this faith as Jehuzah did on the altar, that frustration, that life filled with suffering will come to an end. And then the Holy Spirit will come to fill the person up with his power and glory. And the person will start changing from the inside out. She will be more than able to change all the areas of her life outside as well. Bishop Whelan. Yeah, now, right now we're going to get ready for the prayer of agreement with Pastor Diego. Our Father, we are here in our journey of faith to the Temple of Solomon. We are praying every day in this faith because we know there are people praying with us that they are frustrated, they are suffering, they are struggling, they are exactly like Jesus. They don't know what to do. So many problems, so many battles. They look around, no one to help. But we know, Father, that through this program here, you are talking to them. You are drawing them near to you, to the altar, for them to find the solution, to find the turning point to this situation. So right now, we ask you, Lord, for you to come in the same way that you came to the temple with your glory for you to come with your glory to those who are willing to come near to you those who are willing to sacrifice on the altar to surrender on the altar everything their life their plans their future you know why because their plans up to now got into nowhere got into no results and they are suffering, they're struggling, but I know, my Father, they are ready to exchange their plans, to exchange their life for your plan, your wonderful plan to their life, and they shall receive your exceedingly great reward to become happy, to become successful, to see your glory in their life. We bless all of those who are praying with us in this very moment, whatever they are. My Father, we speak healing power and peace upon their life. May your peace come to all of them, for them to have a wonderful night and to see that you are speaking to them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are all blessed right now. And this is a moment that you have to organize your mind and prepare yourself for this very special campaign in the Temple of Solomon in December. Well, if you need more information about that, connect with us via WhatsApp or Facebook, send us a message, or you can walk into the Help Center. We are open seven days a week and you, be, you can start to begin by drawing near to God, draw near to the altar, prepare your mind because God wants to do big things in your life. God wants to change the story in your life. And for that to happen, you need to put your life in the hands of the creator of heaven and earth. Now, this is your program, the journey of faith to the temple of Solomon. And we're gonna be back again from Monday to Friday at this channel at this time. May all of you have a wonderful night. Remain strong, remain in the Holy Spirit. God bless you all. You were sure that this one would be the greatest love of your life. 
But then you suffered a great disappointment. You invested everything you had, believing that that business would be a success, but it all ended in failure. Even with all the dedication and affection, the lack of respect by your children towards you is a recurrent situation. One word sums up your life: frustration. The fact is that returning home without meeting expectations is a reality for many people. What is missing from your life? What is your biggest frustration? Know that all of this is because the main thing is missing from within you, the Holy Spirit. Without Him, all the other things are useless. This Sunday, the end of frustrations 